so guys this is the photo which we're gonna edit so first of all we're gonna do is let's just select uh, crop the image for our instagram ratio that is 8 is to 10 ratio and just select the perspective which you wanna crop for your final image so here is the cropping final which i want to keep as my instagram ratio so i have done the cropping now the next thing is to select the model image so let's select the quick selection tool from the toolbox and just roll all over the model's face to make it selected in a proper way you can also use the pen tool to select in in a precise way just right click on it and select lever copy or directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of the selection and now we're gonna just create a hair of the model so first of all we'll just erase the unwanted hair from the image by using the eraser tool and now we're gonna just smooth or smudge the hairs to make it look more you know very smooth and kind of rough so in order to give that roughness to the photo we're gonna just select the smudge tool and just make the strength to around 50 or 60 percent and select the soft round brush and just stretch it in the upward direction where you wanna smudge the hair of the model just make a little bit of smudging otherwise your photo will look unnatural and the hairs will look very bad so just make sure that you just do the very perfect and a very little kind of you know smudging on the hairs because we want to maintain the originalism of the photo so here we are almost done the process of smudging So here you can see we have already completed. Now we're gonna add the background to the photo. So you can just download this background from the links down given in the description or you can just download it from our website. Just drag and drop over here. Now go to the edit and select the free transform or you can directly press Ctrl D from the keyboard to enlarge the you know background image and just <laughs> make sure you have you know perfectly fit that background image in a position which you want or else you can just adjust by yourself whatever kind of you know position you want you can just place it now here i want to keep this as my final image now just merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layers now go to the filter select the camera filter and you can now just you know directly you know use the preset or you can just do the manual adjustment from the camera preset so just do as follow what i am doing now we're gonna just add a vignette on the image so i'll make a just a little bit of amount to minus around you know 35 or around 40 this is totally up to you whatever kind of you know this effect you want you can just keep it and just adjust it by using the you know vignette and the feather now let's go to the some kind of saturation adding a little bit and let's add a contrast and I'll decrease some kind of highlights and the shadows also a little bit of white increase and just make sure to increase a little bit of shadows and just minus the black this all adjustment are totally up to you now we're gonna just increase the temperature you know kind of you know cold look so we're gonna just make it to minus 10 or 11 in order to create that perfect you know bluish effect now select the blue tone from the calibration and just make to minus 11 to get that perfect kind of you know teal effect now we're gonna add a sharpness to the photo Go to the HSL tab and select the aqua tone and just make sure to make it to kind of you know minus 100 to get that perfect greenish aqua effect which will make your photo to look more amazing. Now select the bluish color and just make it to minus 10 or around minus 13 would be pretty much perfect. Now we're gonna just select the again the yellowish color from the hsl tab and just adjust it to around minus or plus 62 just do it as shown in the video now we're gonna just make the skin a perfect skin tone so all you need to do is let's increase the luminescence of the orange tone to get that perfect you know 
effect or the lightness on the skin to get that perfect dodge so we're gonna just increase the luminescence to plus 30 now we're gonna just split the toning using the shadow just make sure to you know add a little bit of shadow so select the bluish effect greenish blue effect and just add a little bit of shadows to around plus 8 or 5 would be pretty much perfect or around 10 Now we're gonna add the highlights highlights should be of you know kind of yellowish effect so we're gonna just make it the highlights to you know just a little bit of saturation to around 14 would be pretty much perfect now we're gonna just select the rgb color or the rgb co and just you know flip it on the upward position to get that perfect matte effect just a little bit would be pretty much perfect now we're gonna just add a highlight so make a one point over here and just you know move it in the upward direction to get that perfect highlight on the image so we're gonna just increase the uh, saturation or decrease the saturation of the red tone a little bit now again go to the calibration tab and just adjust the hue color of the image and now just hit ok so guys here finally we have done our process of editing to kind of this is looking very very pretty much perfect and a kind of cinematic look it is giving to the photo a very kind of perfect fashion portrait image which you can save for your instagram feed so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just hit the like button and if you still not subscribed then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashfieldgracians.com so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome